Hey everyone, I thought that I would make a video on some of the features using SugarSync since so many of you have used my link to download and try SugarSync. I thought I would make this video for you and, and show you some of the neat features if you haven't started navigating around it and using it already. Um, if you haven't signed up for SugarSync yet, just to let you know, there is a link in the description of this video and there's also a link on my blog to sign up and the reason that I've provided a link is because if you use the link that I've provided to sign up for SugarSync in addition to the account that you sign up for you will get an extra 500 megabytes of free storage and so will I so we'll both benefit if you use the link that I've provided now SugarSync has different account packages that you can sign up for. There's the free package which gives you five gigs of free storage to start off with and various ways to increase that cloud storage space just by recruiting other people and, and using it and installing it on your devices. They give you free storage for all different different things that you use SugarSync for. There's also their, their first paid package is $4.99 a month and that comes with 30 gigs of storage space and if you use my link to sign up for that you will get 10 free gigs and I will get 10 free gigs also now one of the things that you need to think about is which package you want to start off with because the free storage bonus is one-time deal so if you sign up for the free account first then that free storage that you earn the 500 megabytes that is the that's all you'll get you if you later on decide that you want to sign up for the paid package the free bonus storage is no longer available the, the bonus storage is a one-time deal and and it works whatever package you sign up for that's the only time that you're offered the bonus uh, I signed up for the free store the free five gigs and I have more than doubled that five gigs just by recruiting other people and of course like I said the I provided a link so that I could continue to earn free space and I love the free space and thank you those of you that have used my link to sign up and the what I do with the free space is I put things on my blog that I offer downloads to people for free and because I have so much space I don't have to let some of those downloads expire so if you ever visited any of the archive downloads you would still be able to download those because I don't have to delete to, to free up space and as long as my space keeps growing I can keep those archives ar archive downloads available on my blog okay so let's get on with the SugarSync uh, application once you download SugarSync it puts an icon here in your system tray and you double click on that and this is the file manager for SugarSync and basically this is just a desktop client this is not really where your files are being stored but it's the client to help you navigate around SugarSync one of the things I want to start off to show you is this folder right here called the magic briefcase as you can see I've created many folders and subfolders inside my magic briefcase now you can certainly edit add to and take away from this folder here in the file manager but let me just show you where that folder is located on your computer you would go to start documents and inside your documents you'll see that folder called magic briefcase with the sugar sink icon on it and here you'll see that the files inside that folder mirror the files that are on my file manager so basically this magic briefcase folder 
X just like any other folder inside your documents. But the neat thing about this folder is that it is syncing with all your other devices that you've installed SugarSync on. So any folders or files that you add to this Magic Briefcase are automatically synced with your other devices that you've installed SugarSync on. You don't have to tell it to sync. You don't have to, there's nothing extra you have to do. You just treat this folder like any other folder and know that whatever machine you're sitting at, you can access those folders or files. Something else that is really simple and seamless with SugarSync is sharing whole folders. You would simply click on the folder, right click on the folder, and click this shared folders, which will take you to your SugarSync website. internet must be slow this morning. Okay, this is my sugar sink on the web, which I can access this from any computer anywhere in the world and get at my files, no matter what, what machine I'm sitting at. And I can also access it from any of my devices. Now, when you click to share a whole folder with someone, you just have to put their email or several emails in here and when that person accepts the share then they have that folder on the inside their sugar sink as well and if they're not signed up for sugar sink they'll be prompted to sign up and the sign up is easy you just enter an email and a password and you're pretty much done it's not a big long drawn out process and once they sign up then you get the 500 megs of free space and so will they. So it, it's an incentive to share folders with people so that you will both benefit and, and earn free space. And my space keeps growing the more I share with people the, the link to sign up for SugarSync. Okay, so that's sharing a folder now to share a file, you would just right click on the file and click get public link. And then a pop-up pops up down here and it says that it's been copied to the clipboard. My link's been copied to a clipboard. So with that link now, I can paste it into an email. I can paste it onto my blog, my Facebook, Twitter, just wherever you want to share that file. And the nice thing about this is that if you want to email somebody a really large file, you don't have to wait for it to upload and then they don't have to wait for it to download on the other end. It's very fast. And just by putting the link, they just click on the link and then they're prompted to download it to their computer. Sometimes some email clients won't let you go over a certain amount to email. So that's another good thing about using SugarSync. And it's just faster. And then that way you're sure that they got the download because a lot of times you can send an attachment in an email and sometimes that attachment doesn't show up on the other end just depending on their email settings. So I really like using the links rather than sending attachments in my emails. And like I said, you can also put the link on your Facebook or your Twitter, your blog, your website. You can attach that link anywhere on the internet. And when they click the down the link to download, that's where that download's coming from. And that's where these 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 that I have set up right here, these are the downloads that I have set up on my blog. And as long as my space keeps growing inside SugarSync, I can keep those archives going and, and leave these files inside SugarSync and that way they're still available no matter how much time passes. And as you can see down here, I've more than doubled my space just by referrals. And again, thank you guys for using my link to sign up. 
Okay, so something else that is really neat is not only can you sync the Magic Briefcase with all your devices, but you can sync folders from, you know, separate folders from each device. Now, looking at my Sugar Sync, you can see there are three devices that I have Sugar Sync signed up on. And I have folders that I have set up to sync between all my devices. To do that, you would click this Manage Sync Folders and it pop makes a pop-up window open. And here are the folders that I'm syncing with my other computers. And like this folder right here, I decided I didn't want it to sync with this computer, so I've only signed up these two. So let me show you how to set that set up a folder to sync. You just click on Add Folders. And let's see, let me find a small one. Let's see, I'll just check mark that, that folder right there and say OK. And so now this folder will be syncing to my sugar sink. Now, at this point, I don't have to do anything else. This will sync up to sugar sink and be backed up. But I also want the same files that I add to this folder to be included on these two devices. So I just click the sync button and the, both my devices are already have a check mark on it. And I'm going to leave it that way because I want to add that folder to both of these devices. And there you, it just added that same folder to both those devices. So no matter which, which computer I'm sitting at, when I add folders to this folder on that computer, it will automatically show up on both of these computers. I hope that that comes over clear. So these are the folders that I have set up in addition to my Magic Briefcase. Now Magic Briefcase is automatically syncing. I didn't have to set that up. That is by default when you install SugarSync. And you can just leave it like that. You don't have to add any folders or you can add these folders to the Magic Briefcase and they'll be automatically synced. So that's just more than one way of doing it. You can, if you do it outside of the Magic Briefcase, it just allows you to personalize it more and, and tell it which devices you want to sync with. Okay, you'll click OK, and those folders, that folder is added to all your computers. Something else that is really nice about the file man, the SugarSync file manager, is this shared folders file. It keeps organized any files that are shared with me or any files that I've shared with other people. Now, even though they're up here that I've shared them and, and there you can recognize the files that are being shared because there's two people on the, the folder, whereas these folders are blank. So that kind of shows you the difference between the two. You know which ones are, are being shared and which ones aren't. But I like that it also organizes it down here. And within your file manager, you can just click and drag files into the folders that are being shared, as well as navigate through your documents to those folders. And let's see, the other thing I want to show you is the mobile photos folder that gets installed in, on your file manager. When you install SugarSync on your iPhone, Android, um, iPad 2, if you go, if you use that app to take a photo, it automatically uploads to this folder. And what I like about that is I can organize and delegate my photos from my computer without having to wait till the next time I hook up my my phone or my device through a USB and go through iTunes and, and dump all those pictures that I've taken off. Sometimes I don't do that, you know, for a week, maybe two weeks, and I've got hundreds of pictures that I've got to go through 
and this way it's easier because you can just keep up they're automatically in there and when you have a chance you can go through the few photos that are in there and it's just you just have to deal with a few at a time rather than waiting for a good time to plug up your device and go through all those photos so I kinda like that and then it keeps your device free of having those photos as well because they're on your sugar sink app they don't have to be on your device taking up space because they're in sugar sink um, let's see I had copied a link to show you the process on the iPhone there's just a couple screenshots in this tutorial just to show you how that works so basically this is your iPhone and when you open up SugarSync on your iPhone of course you see your other devices you see your magic briefcase and then down below it you have a icon with a camera and when you open up that when you click on that icon it opens up a window to take a photo record a video or upload existing media and if you click upload existing media it will take you to the photos that are already on your in your camera folder on your iPhone and you can upload those photos by clicking this button but if you're just going to take a photo you click photo and the the camera app shows up on your screen just like it would if you clicked your photo app you take the photo and inside that folder it shows you that the photo is uploading already to SugarSync and so you can simply go from there and open you know to your your computer and open up the mobile photos and that photo that you just took will automatically be there without having to plug up your device and you can edit that photo here you can create a folder put it in a folder or you can put it somewhere on your computer so it's not in your sugar sink just whatever you want to do it you can email you can share it share the link with somebody um, put it in an email just there's so many options within the sugar sink file manager uh, lastly I want to show you one other thing that I learned the hard way this deleted this trash can the delete files when you delete something from anywhere inside your file manager it puts the files in your trash can here now when your trash can starts filling up it is using up your space that's available inside your sugar sink so periodically you want to go through and empty your trash can inside your file manager to free up that space so if you start noticing that your space doesn't seem quite right it's probably because your trash can is full and I found that out the hard way well that's about it I've taken you through what I'm doing with my sugar sink I haven't done anything with this I'm not sure what this is yet and, and I'll I'll make a video on that later when I get a chance to fool with that but for now I hope that you're enjoying your sugar sink if you've downloaded it if you haven't yet like I said the link is in the description and on my blog my blog is digitally speaking designs blogspot.com and there are several things on my blog that you can download for free and use on your iPad or your computer so do visit my blog and just poke around and see if there's anything there that you can use um, until the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.